What's up, pals? I know it's been a hot minute since I put an actual video on YouTube instead of just like reposting my shorts and reels. But uh, as many of you know, I've just been going through it. The last uh, year has been fraught with me canceling shows, not streaming anymore, which I am getting back to streaming. That's not permanently done. Um, I've been a little more inconsistent than I like to be on my platforms like Patreon and OnlyFans and I haven't made as many costumes as I would like to be. I've canceled so many guest appearances and judging appearances including some international ones which ow my heart but uh, real life happens and I've been going through it and so uh, I have talked about this in Discord and on my socials a little bit but I figured um, now that knock on wood uh, things seem to be moving in a direction that will allow me to get back to the things that I enjoy. So I figured I should explain to everybody or uh, just put out there sort of what's been going on so you guys know. First off, if anyone has told you that I'm quitting cosplay and quitting Oh My Sophie, that is not true. I know I saw a post where somebody was like, oh, I think Sophie quit. No, I have been still making costumes, not at the speed I like to. Um, I did get to go to Fan Expo Orlando or Megacon Orlando this year. Um, so I have been trying to to stay in this thing I love while, while I've been dealing with stuff. So uh, let me see if I can do this a TLDR version so that this video isn't a million minutes long. I've had a lot of issues in my family. My Nana has been very sick with cancer. My dad had a brush with cancer. My mom has been going back and forth between America and UK, home to Wales, where my Nana is. Um, so there's just been a lot, a lot of heaviness going on in my family. Um, on top of all of that, I have been crazy sick. So some of you remember that I dealt with burnout in early 2021 and I worked really hard and took a break to get back to like being me. Well, then I got, we don't, I've always had digestive problems and I won't go like too into it. Um, but starting in November of last year, like things just got so much worse. Um, it's ramped up since. So I, throw up every day. We don't really know why. We, I had a clear CT scan. All my organs are working great. They can't figure it out. So um, vomiting isn't the only symptom. I just don't want to go into all of the digestive problems. Uh, but I just haven't been well, like super not well. I've had to cancel shows last minute. I barely left my house this summer and that is super annoying because those who know me well, you know that I'm crazy extroverted and love to go on adventures. So uh, we did buy a new house uh, at the beginning of this year and I am so in love with it and I can't wait to like enjoy it fully. I've definitely spent a lot of time in the house. Uh, I need to unpack more things and finish setting up my cosplay layer on my workshop. I just honestly haven't had the energy to do so. Um, good days have been few and far between. Uh, because of this, um, because the problems are specifically digestive, I've been crazy bloated and swollen like you would not believe. So that's hindered my ability to feel comfortable putting my costumes on because some of them, some days, depending on how bad the bloating and swelling is, may not fit at all or be crazy tight. I'm not happy with the way I look in photos. So I've barely shot since November. Like I've shot just enough to keep my content up. But I have, if you saw my reel that I posted the other day, I have a crazy amount of backlog costumes that I've made that I just haven't shot, including my Ayla build from last year that I'm super excited about, the, the um, carved dragon carved armor from Skyrim mod, which I'm so proud of that armor. Um, and then I just finished a tech black cat that was supposed to be for my guest appearance at GalaxyCon Raleigh, which I also had to cancel last minute because again, I'm just throwing up all the time. I don't know what is wrong with me. However, however, hi Bane. Um, things appear, knock on wood again, to be heading in a really good direction regarding my health. Um, some symptoms have started resolving themselves. I do have a lot of appointments this month to uh, hopefully find an answer. I have a scope and I'm seeing a GI specialist and um, we've done like the food allergy thing. Well, we've tried to, it's inconsistent. Like thank you to everybody also who has seen me talking about this and has reached out with their own experience with experiences with digestive issues. I didn't know that they were so prevalent. What is it that crash candies? Gorgeous, gorgeous girls have digestive problems and I love that. So making content has been hard. The thought of getting on camera has been hard. And then, you know, again, we just bought a house. I have hella bills. And so the stress of worrying that I won't be able to work and maintain my business has been hard. Um, what has been a 
godsend and a lifesaver has been um, my position as marketing director with Misty Mountain Gaming, which I took on last November, actually. Uh, literally, besides being one of the best jobs I have, the best job I've ever had in my life with the most wonderful team of people ever who are just, I am amazed at their commitment to listen and learn. Like that is what has made me fall more and more in love with that job. So shout out to Misty Mountain Gaming, keeping my head above water. Um, it's made those months where I really, when I was in the worst of it, couldn't work much on the cosplay side of things, less stressful financially. Um, in the same vein, I do want to thank you or, or thank everybody, so many of you, who have stayed on my Patreon and in my OnlyFans. We've had some of our best months ever over the last few months. And I am so sure that is just because you guys are amazing and have supported me through the madness. Even months where patrons only gotten like 10 posts and like maybe two or three sets as opposed to what I normally put out, right? Um, so just thank you for real. I, I just, I'm mind blown at how incredible my community is. And I say that all the time, but it's true. The best fucking community on the planet. The cosplay community is in general, but my little corner of that internet, my discord, like you guys keep me alive for real. Also, besides physically being unable to work conventions and travel and guest as I love to, um, I find that the couple of times I was able to make it to a convention, I have crazy social anxiety now that I never had before. And that strictly comes from a place of like, I don't feel good, you know, like my body isn't healthy, so my mind hasn't been healthy. So that has really taken a toll on me over the last few months. Just, it, it sort of feels like you're losing yourself. I'm sure a lot of you can identify um, with that type of feeling where it's like, you can see you in the distance, but you can't reach you, right? There's so much in the way. So. That has, in a nutshell, sort of been what I've been dealing with over the last year, like 16, 17 months. Um, it's just been nonstop madness and I just really am feeling refreshed and like we're moving in a much better direction and I am planning things and getting back into things and I just want to thank everybody for putting up with my inconsistency because uh, consistency is key. I am a firm believer of that. Uh, it's very important to me to be punctual and to do a job well and on time and do it right. And there have been many instances where I have just not been able to do that. I have not lived up to the expectations I have set for myself. And that's been, that's been tough. It's also been a wonderful like learning opportunity though. I've learned so much about myself and my needs and what really drives me over the last year plus. Um, and it's just reaffirmed my love for cosplay and this incredible community and content creating and just being online with you guys. Because there's been plenty of opportunities over the last year where I could have very reasonably just been like, I can't do this right now, I have to be done with it. I Whether it was permanent or temporary, where I could have stepped away from the realm of Oh My Sophie. Um, but I just, I couldn't, I wouldn't. I love it too much. It's a part of who I am. I have been doing this professionally for over six years now. Like I, I just, I love it so much. And so of course it's been mentally damaging to not be able to do it as much as I love. Um, but I've given myself lots of grace. Uh, you guys have given me lots of grace. And like I said, I just really feel like knock on wood a thousand times, things are genuinely moving in a much better direction across the board um, with some things. There, there are some things like my Nana has cancer and that's just how it is, uh, fuck cancer. Uh, my dad did, he's been cleared of cancer. He has no more cancer. So thankful for that and um, I am thankful that nothing was found on my CT scan and that my organs are all working great. Obviously, this is just some kind of like disorder. Like we're gonna start looking for like Crohn's and things like that. Um, if you guys have any experience with that stuff, I would love to know, please share it with me. Um, it makes me feel not alone. Uh, and you know, the type of illness that I've been dealing with is kind of embarrassing too. I mean, I'm comfortable being uh, transparent with my discord 
and I've had to be transparent with the shows that I've canceled. Like also shout out to all of the conventions that I've had to cancel for being so fucking amazing with me. Um, Cause it's always been last minute cause I'm trying to get there. Like I'm determined. GalaxyCon, I fucking speed built tech black cat. I'm so proud of that costume. I was so determined. I wore it around my house a few times, just envisioning being on the con floor doing what I love in it. And then a few days before I took a turn for the worst had a flare up and there was just no way that I was going to be able to do the show. Um, so that sucks, but thank you to those shows for putting up with me being so last minute. I was just trying my best to get there. Um, however, moving forward, I'm not sure that I will have to cancel any more shows as I don't have any more for uh, about six to eight weeks, I believe. Um, but I, I may, I may, we don't really know. It'll depend on what's going on with my upcoming appointments. Um, but I would, I will be booking for 2023. Uh, we're going to resolve this. I am going to get better at worst. We're going to manage my symptoms and I'm going to be back at fucking shows doing what I love. There's also a lot of pressure of like, I'm 32 and I know that we don't live in this world anymore, but there's always sort of been like a, a ticking clock you know like society creates this ticking clock of women in the like entertainment business or what it is that I do and so like I had hoped that the first half of my 30s would be the most exciting time of my life and instead it's been fraught with illness and stress and so I had stress also of like oh is my time running out to do the things I love and that's silly I I do not believe that that doesn't, our society is so much different now. Cosplay is so much different. You can do this shit forever if you're willing to put in the work and do it, right? I'm rambling a little bit now, but TLDR, thank you guys. Thank you for allowing me to create a space where I have been comfortable being transparent with you all. Thank you for all the kind words and all the just love and support you guys have given me both online and financially by staying on my play, pay platforms even when I wasn't delivering everything that was promised. It's just, just thank you, seriously. I don't feel entitled to any of that. I am thankful for every single like, share, comment, and dollar I get. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to reiterate again how thankful I am for this awesome community and how important it is for me to be transparent about the things that are going on. So I'm sorry I've been so inconsistent. I know that you guys are gonna be like, no, it's fine, you've been going. But I, I wanna say sorry for me. Um, because I kept making promises that I couldn't keep in hopes that I would be able to keep them. Um, moving forward, like I said, we're going to see how things go with shows. I don't want to make any promises I can't keep right now. However, um, I will be at Toronto, Fan Expo Toronto, with uh, Misty Mountain Gaming. I likely won't be in cosplay. We'll see how I feel about cosplay. Specifically, I'm going to be there helping with the Misty Mountain Gaming booth. I just sort of want to use that as like a uh, get out of my comfort zone that I've created in my in my home, right? This bubble that I haunt. So I just want to get on a plane and get there. And it's almost like baby steps, I guess is what I'm trying to say back into this thing that I love so much. So I'm excited to meet so many of you there. Um, I probably will have prints and that set up in a little area. We have meet and greet spots for our influencers. I don't know why I did that. That seems demeaning. <laughs> we have meet and greet spots um, for our awesome influencers and guests. And so I will probably set up a time or two for that since it is my first time in Canada. Um, I was supposed to go guest at Kelowna Comic Con this year in Canada. And thank you so much to that show for inviting me out. And I'm so sorry that I can't make it to that one either. Um, but it's gonna get better. I believe it. And I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to this weekend shooting a bunch of the cosplays that I've had on backlog as well as a bunch of sponsored content. I need to shoot um, shout out to those companies for being patient with me as well. Uh, I did order everything I need to set up my little in-home studio finally. I've been putting that off forever because every time I put a costume on, I just was like, ah, because I was uncomfortable in my own body. Um, but again, we're moving in a better direction. So I went ahead and ordered that studio and those nice paper backdrops. And that way I can start baby step shooting again, you know, self shooting at home or Sam can help me, whatever. Um, because I just, I'm excited again. I feel excited. I feel hope and I feel ready to fucking rock again. So I'm not going to do the Sophie thing that I always try and do where I come in a million miles an hour back into it because that doesn't seem to, to serve me well. It hasn't served me well in the past. 
So I'm gonna baby step my way back into getting to the same energy levels I once was at, right? Um, that's gonna include streaming. Um, I'm planning to do just one day a week while I sort of get back into it. I don't wanna promise anything again that I can't live up to. Um, so yeah, and, and I've been doing lots of reels and TikToks and be doing more of those. And I'm just, I just wanted to ramble and rant a little bit and tell you guys all of the things and just thank you so much. Uh, this is also my commitment to try to do two YouTube videos a month. So um, that is what I wanna be getting back into over here as well as obviously posting those shorts. I love you guys so much. Thank you for listening to my little update. Um, also, we got a puppy, Siri, she's gorgeous. She's asleep on the bed right now. So I'll just, there's the photo of her. Um, and yeah, I have lots of cool stuff to share with you guys when we get back to streaming. And yeah, love you guys so much. Thank you so much for sitting through this video. If you made it this far, please subscribe, like, check out my link tree below to follow me on Twitter and Instagram, which also sidebar, thank you so much for Twitter. Uh, we have doubled and almost tripled following over there in the last couple of months. And I'm just, whoa, fucking thank you for real. Thank you for 41K. We're gonna do a giveaway at 50K. Um, but yeah, thank you so much. I love you guys so many times and I'll see you real soon.